guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm here in the state of Texas, and guess what? We have it. This is the totally refreshed, major refresh 2020 Nissan Titan. This one is the off-road edition, that Pro 4X. But before we dive into the all new 2020, let's talk a little bit about Titan history. So the Nissan Titan's been around since 2004, if you could believe that, has been that go-to for a Nissan half-ton full-size pickup truck. Now for 2020, this is not a total redesign, but a major, major refresh of the Titan program. With this setup, they've kind of streamlined their lineup, but they kept a lot of the good things that make the Titan such a wonderful truck. So let's go ahead, dive into this all new color. This is called Baja Storm and see what the new Titan is all about. So right off the bat, you'll notice some different styling going on. Headlight housing, nice and large, full LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps and headlights. Of course, you drop down, you're also gonna get your fog lamps down low. Really loving the Baja Storm color. We come across the massive upgraded grill. They're doing a design philosophy over at Nissan on their trucks called Warrior, the Warrior design philosophy. You still see that V motion behind it, like so many of the other Nissan grills, but great identity for the brand. You have the Pro 4X down here in the lower corner, blacked out Nissan badge with the bright red Nissan script across the middle. As we drop down, you can see we've done some off-roading. This is real mud. This is real Texas mud, not included when you buy your brand new Nissan Titan pickup truck. You're gonna have to make yours dirty, but on the Pro 4X, you're gonna get the bright red tow hooks, that's gonna allow you to get those lesser trucks out of the mud. And then underneath, this is all metal, all metal protection to protect those inner working bits as you would expect on a truck that is off-road capable. Now, as we come around the bend here, we're gonna see some touches that are unique to the Pro 4X. This wheel and tire setup. So we have off-road general grabber tires that are wrapped around those 18 inch wheels. That's a specific wheel to the Pro 4X. You have some gunmetal gray, some machined aluminum, and that dark black center cap with the Nissan badge there. We have about an inch lift on this truck. I like what they're doing with the fender treatment, nice flared fender treatment, unique design inside there. Also, Bilstein shock absorbers. Part of the Pro 4X package is you're gonna get Bilstein shock absorbers all four corners with that one inch lift and the underbody protection is gonna make sure that you can go off-road and not have to worry about a thing. We come down the side, you're gonna have flat black on your mirrors, some exterior lighting on those mirrors. We come down flat black on the door handles around the window treatment. If you look closely, there's some very nice lines that they have, really like the sharp indentation on the lower section and the belt line is a nice curved belt line as you come towards the bed. Now, what's really nice, the way they do this is that they have a body line that gently comes out of nowhere and then goes towards that tailgate area. Of course, like I was saying, full Bil uh, Bilstein shock absorbers, all four corners have been professionally tuned for this Pro 4X package on the Nissan Titan truck. When we get to the tailgate area, very, very clean, very straightforward. So they took the black from the grill, brought it on the tailgate. You have your Pro 4X badge, nothing bright, nothing too gaudy, full LED lighting on your, on your brake lights in these upgraded housings. And then when we look at the rear bumper area, you're gonna have your full tow capability. You can see the amount of ground clearance that we have blacked out on the badging. Now here's one thing that's interesting. I'm gonna kind of swing around to get into the bed of the truck, they put these very smartly engineered little steps right there to allow you to get into the bed of the truck. And speaking of the bed, let's see what kind of room we have back there. So nice, soft release, Nissan's patented rail system where you could put a multitude of different tie-down locations. And I'm gonna swing around Lori real quick and show off that you do have right here your home power source capability. You got some work tools you're working with. You got maybe a tailgating party you're doing at the back of your truck. Also a power sliding rear cab window, which is a very nice touch. But why don't we go ahead, we talked about what changes there are for 2020 on the outside. Let's pop the hood and see what's different 
powering this Titan. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You do have hood struts. Underneath the hood is gonna be a little bit of a change. So you have one engine option, one engine option only. That is that 5.6 liter naturally aspirated V8. The good news is for 2020, 400 horsepower now. That's 10 horsepower more than 2019. 413 pound-feet of torque. That's actually 19 more pound-feet of torque than a 2019. I think the biggest news besides the extra horsepower and torque is the Jatco nine-speed automatic transmission that's replacing the seven-speed. If you want some Numbers for capability of this truck, you're looking at a payload capability, 1,680 pounds, tow capability, 9,370 pounds. The truck weighs around 6,000 pounds total, zero to 60 in 5.7 seconds, quarter mile in 14.4, a top speed of 110 miles per hour. If you're wondering about MPGs, 15 in the city and around 22 on the highway. I think it's very smart that they ditched the diesel option. I think that was a no brainer to make that decision. And then another smart decision, of course, was that nine speed automatic transmission. But while we go ahead, let's fire it up and see what 400 ponies sound like. All right, guys, we're inside the 2020 Nissan Titan Pro 4X. I know you're probably wondering, well, Joe, how much is this truck? Well, as of right now, this is a pre-production. I don't have an MSRP, but what I can show you is just what changes are happening to the interior that will make you want to go and search out this truck. So let's go to the door panels. I like what they're doing with the door panels. There's a lot of dark material. And that's going to make it easy to clean. You have a little bit of red stitching, which is nice on the armrest. It's soft touch behind the armrest on the back portion of the door panel. Where I'm going to so zonk is actually at the top of the door panel. That whole top piece is as hard as a Nissan Titan rock that they have outside the factory, believe it or not, in Tennessee. You drop down, you're going to have a large pocket, though. You could put a Subway meatball sub a foot long, put two of them down there, and you could have a couple Mountain Dew Code Reds to wash all that spaghetti sauce down. You have the optional Fender audio system that is replacing the Rockford Fosgate sound system for 2019. It's supposed to be even better, more clarity. You get to the dash, soft material, soft material. I love this lava red stitching. That's what they're calling it. I didn't come up with that. Nissan came up with that. A little bit of this faux carbon fiber trim, and I'm actually digging it. It's not gaudy. It doesn't look like it's really carbon fiber. It just has a nice uh, texture to it. Open up the glove box. You could put a couple boxes of Twinkies in there. No brainer. Close it up. Here is all new for 2020. So this one has the optional 9-inch infotainment system screen. Now, standard is 8-inch. This is 9-inch. You can see we have our navigation. It's real nice because you could actually touch the screen or you can hit some buttons and then you could touch in there. So you could get into your audio controls, all that kind of stuff, your connectivity. This does have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and watch this, hit camera. We got a camera out the front with trajectory and you have your 360 camera. Now, the camera view is a little grainy, but it's nice to see that technology getting into this Titan pickup truck. We slide down a little bit of gloss black, not too much on the gloss black. You have dual climate control, which is wonderful. You have your push to start operation. You have your little twist knob to get into your four high, four low, and back to two wheel drive. You can see the plethora of safety features that we have. More standard safety features than any other truck in its class standard. Heated steering wheel. We keep dropping down. You have your tow controls, USB-C and a USB, heated and ventilated seats, a cubby for your Tootsie Rolls. And then here's probably one of the best ideas ever. This is actually a cell phone holder. So this tray, which I'm actually going to take out, how many times do we take our phone and we put it in between our legs or you put it in the cup holder? They actually designed it to where you could put the phone and watch this right on camera. This is how we do it on Radies Ride. So as you can see, look at this. Zero gravity, baby. You could go into space with this thing and your phone's gonna stay in there, no problem. 
even though we are here on Earth with tons of gravity. But you could remove that. You could take it into the office, show all your friends, be like, hey, you want to see something cool? Can you do that? You could do that in the Nissan Titan. Another thing that's really nice is, is that you have flexibility here. So two cup holders, let's say you're not thirsty. Take them out. Let's say you don't have a phone. Take them out. Look at all that storage in there. You could actually get your zingers, your funny bones, little Debbie snacks, fill it up. Let's put it back together so I don't get yelled at here by the folks at Nissan. Goes back nicely. Here is your key fob. Now the key fob, we are going to date. We, I, we're going to zonk it. I'm not going to date it, but I, it looks dated. I know that for sure. It's nice though. It's small. So if you're afraid about getting poked inside your, your leg or something, your inner thigh, it's not going to happen with, with one of these keys. I'll put everything back here. You do have a nice side pocket. Not big enough for a Twinkie, but you definitely could put some Twizzlers in there. You could put a Twinkie in there if you smush it, but who the heck wants to do that to their Twinkie? Soft touch with the stitching. Open sesame. Yes. Look at this. More trays. You could put your M&Ms, peanut M&Ms. And if anybody wants to taste the rainbow, like they're like, I don't want any chocolate. You could put your Skittles in the side there. Nice, large opening. You see this? We got Lysol wipes in here. You could easily put about 12 of those containers in there. And there's a 12 volt. We'll put that back. Close it up. Seats. They look great. Perforated center. Heated, ventilated. I love the embroidery right here with the Pro 4X. And you have full power seats for both the passenger and the driver. So now your passenger doesn't have to get jealous of you while you're behind the wheel of this truck. Panoramic sunroof, which is great. We could open that up, let the Texas sun in. The other zonk for the interior has got to be this auto demi mirror. It's the non frameless kind. So it's a little bulky, it's a little obtrusive. Other than that, I'm liking the changes, especially this nine inch screen. Very nicely set up. But why don't you get on behind the business end? I want to show you behind the wheel of this refreshed 2020 Titan. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel. You do have your Power seat controls, easy to get to. You got that lower lumbar. Ooh, that feels good on the lower back. For seating though, you have two memory settings for the driver's seat, which is a nice welcome. If somebody's borrowing your truck on a regular basis, you each could have your separate seat setting. You have a headlight control knob, real easy to get to. And then steering wheel, pretty good on the thickness. I wish it was just a little bit thicker, but I love the red contrast stitching. The buttons are a little dated, but they're easy to use. And you do have a column shift, which I am going to zonk because they didn't put the nice leather like they do on the Platinum Reserve on the actual shifter. I wish they did that, but let's check out the instrumentation. Very clean, very clear. So you're going to have an all new seven inch display there in the center. And if you watch, I could toggle through a plethora of information. There's the driver assistance, the towis, towing settings. You have your digital speedometer. Look at that, your off-road information, auxiliary gauges, more auxiliary gauges, the driving time, your range, all that good stuff. Plus you have a nice analog tech, analog speedometer, really clean, coolant and fuel. It makes driving the truck not cumbersome. You know, some trucks have so much information and you're just like, and by the time you get your hands back on the wheel, you've already flown off the road. With the Titan, you can feel confident knowing where everything is very, very easily. But why don't we check out that back seat and see how your passengers are going to like the new Titan. All right, guys, back seat time now. It is not as large as some of the competition, but sometimes it's not just about size. You keep thinking that. But no, seriously, sometimes it's not about size. I really think that they bring a nice overall feel. One thing I like is on the backs of the seats, it's all leather. You have a nice large pocket for a calculator, an abacus. Maybe you got a microscope. Maybe you got a kid that's wanting to be Albert Einstein. You could put all that in that pocket. Two cup holders. If your passengers ever forget what truck they're in, it tells them right here, I'm in a Titan. So you got the Titan name, two AC vents, heated seats, home power source, two USBs, and a 12 volt. So if you like connectivity, they got you connected in the Nissan Titan. Seating is great. I got plenty. I did not move any of the seats. I know sometimes people like to debate with me. Hey, you moved the seat. I did not move the seat. Six foot Joe Rady is sitting up front right now. Six foot Joe Rady is in the back. Even with the panoramic sunroof, I got plenty of headroom. Seats have a nice cushion feel to it. Armrests, that's the zonk. Now, the good news is you can put a super big gulp in here, but the bad news is you better have super small arms because there's not much of an armrest unless you just put it in there, but then that just sucks. But the good news is if you want a super slurpee and a super big gulp, you got both of them there. 
power sliding rear glass window and you see that little sign right there that says don't put your fingers there because you're gonna get chopped off if that window closes and you're not paying attention. But why don't we go ahead, if you're ready, I'm ready. I think these cows, the cows left, but they're ready too. Let's go ahead and take this Titan for a spin. All right, guys, we're inside the 2020 Nissan Titan. This is the Pro 4X Off-Road Edition. So remember, this is gunning for the Ram Rebel. This is gunning for the Toyota Tundra TRD Pro. Let's see how she goes down this little gravel, dirt, asphalt, rocky little road here. Remember, nine-speed automatic transmission, 400 horsepower. That's more than the Toyota Tundra and the Ram Rebel. But from a dead stop, on throttle, drops down, and we're off and running. Super smooth, great V8 sound. That's what I'm really liking from this Titan is you get that naturally aspirated V8 engine, Steering feels really good going to this right hand bend, kind of doubles back a little bit. Back on throttle. But going down this road, I'm telling you, the feedback from those Bilstein shock absorbers, that's where the where you're you're earning that keep, that off-road keep is with the suspension. You got a little bit of a of a lift, that one-inch lift, but the suspension really is one of the biggest components to this Pro 4X trim Titan. And with 400 horsepower, nothing wrong with that. But going down the road here, really soaks up the bumps well. You feel like you're in control when it comes to the steering, braking, and throttle. And that's just gonna give you confidence. That's the wonderful thing about this truck is that it's just confidence inspiring even as we're going down this road here. What I like about the interior is that the touches that they have made have really brought it up to a new level. That nine inch infotainment system screen, nice size screen. Here we go, over the bump, there we go. Soaking up the bumps very nicely. That nine inch infotainment system screen, there's no glare on it. So I don't know what kind of voodoo magic they're doing over at Nissan, but there's no glare on the screen that seven inch digital display gives me all the readouts that, that you could ever want. Switching through it, very, very easy to get through with tire pressure, the whole nine yards. And the seats are very, very supportive. I like the way the lower portion really nestles my hamstrings nicely, but also the back portion of the seat is very, very supportive yet comfortable as well. All right guys, you know, having the electric tilting and telescoping steering wheel is a very nice touch, that panoramic sunroof. Um, but let's go ahead and do another acceleration test. So I'm gonna come to a dead stop here. We're going to left foot brake. So I have my left foot on the brake pedal, on throttle, drops down, I'm telling you, really drops down nice in the transmission and you're off and running. But over the bumps and everything, it's it, it very, very supportive. And that's what it's all about. Remember, the whole point of a, of a shock absorber is to actually push the tires down. It's not to hold the vehicle up. A lot of times people think your suspension is meant to hold the vehicle up. It's meant to push the tires down to the ground, and that's what's gonna give you that great driving ability when you have a good suspension. We're going into this left-hand bend on the brakes, Great pedal modulation, nice turning, good feedback on throttle. Just really, really nice overall, the, the, the way that they have this chassis tuned and then what they've done with the interior. Right now, having the ventilated seats on, having uh, you know electric assist to get the seat to fit your body perfectly really just aids in the whole driving experience. And that's what's great about this Nissan Titan. Now, is it a missing a few things? I mean, there there isn't any perfect vehicle out there. Um, and when you're comparing them to some of the other brands, that's something that you're gonna have to really dig deep to find those differences. But for the price point, with the safety technology that you're getting and the class-leading performance, uh, it, it it really makes the Titan 
uh, a viable option for sure when uh, looking for your full size half ton pickup truck. It is a great course. Uh, yeah, they did a really nice job with it. It's challenging. Yeah. Don't go right or left here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the course, we're just going to get stuck. That one we made. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was looking at earlier. I was like, which way am I going? Yeah. <laughs> You're going to carry some speed through All this right. once you come off of this. That's how you get it. Yeah, right. There we go. That's one for the oh, picture. <laughs> you leaderboard for mud today. Winner for most mud on the truck. <laughs> so you're slow down. Left here at the cones. Left at the cones. guys hopefully this is giving you a nice overall feel of what the majorly redesigned Titan is about I really think that it was smart of Nissan to just go with the one engine option one transmission option but yet having that flexibility in their lineup to have that specific towing chassis the XD but also hey if you don't want to tow but you want to have that off-road capability being able to get this Pro 4X really just allows people to choose a better truck for themselves in Nissan's lineup of Titans. Gives you more flexibility with getting the right Titan for you. But I think that you're gonna be pleasantly surprised if you haven't been a Titan in a while, this 2020 is quite a change from previous years with the way that they have it configured for the new model year. But we're gonna go ahead, wrap this one up. I'll see you back at our undisclosed location in a few seconds. All right, guys, it's been a big Texas kind of day. Hey, it makes sense. We are in the state of Texas with this new Titan. Definitely gonna thank the whole crew at Nissan, especially Steve and Tony for getting us access to this truck and inviting Rady's rides out. Is it the half ton full-size pickup truck that you need to add to your driveway? I think that Nissan has definitely raised the bar within their own vehicle. And if this is what is gonna be expected from Nissan future-wise, I think we have some big things to look forward to. But if it's trucks like these that you wanna see on Radies Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit the subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you wanna help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, Click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to give it up to my ranch hand, my cowgirl, my am amazing wife, Lori, coming all the way out to Texas, working that camera like a champ in this field right now. There's bugs all over her. So thank you, Lori, for standing strong and still. And just like always, as I just get bit on my ankle, I'll see you on the next ride.